Hi everyone, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. I've done a few of these in the past, but it's been many years since uh, I previously done this. But uh, I, on my video game channel, on my game channel, I uh, just opened uh, a box of uh, uh, mystery boosters. And uh, here we have all the cards laid out. So in this video I thought I'd uh, you know, uh, parse through all of the cards, uh, arrange them uh, by color and uh, rarity, and uh, see what I got here. And uh, I thought that, that that would make some relaxing sounds. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be uh, crinkling some of these uh, booster wrappers. Like I mentioned in the uh, uh, actual opening video on my other channel, uh, this video wouldn't have been possible without the help of uh, Boromagia, the uh, biggest Magic of the Gathering store uh, in Finland. Uh, they have a, a physical store in Helsinki and, uh, and a website as well. So, uh, if you're at all into uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, either boosters or singles or uh, accessories uh, or board games, miniatures, uh, uh, head over to uh, boromagia.com and uh, they also have a, a retro game store, uh, retromagia.com. So, uh, give them, give them uh, uh, a look. Uh, you can use the link in the video description so they'll know it's it's me and uh, that'll help us maybe do one of these videos again later on so yeah thanks thanks a lot to Boromagia for uh, giving me this chance uh, this is not paid content uh, they didn't give me any money but they did provide me with the product here so uh, let's start. Yeah, mystery booster is uh, uh, a magic set quite unlike any other. Uh, it has uh, over eighteen hundred cards. Each and every card is as uh, likely uh, to come out of a booster than than the others. So a common is as uh, uh, um, likely to be opened as any specific rare or mythic rare. There are just so many commons in there, over a thousand. So that that's ma that makes it uh, so that uh, they are equally rare. And uh, yeah. They have uh, uh, cards from uh, several uh, several decades of, of magic. I think the earliest are, are like late 90s. And uh, uh, the cards look exactly like uh, how they looked when uh, when they were first printed. Uh, the only differentiating factor is that there is a small um, planeswalker symbol there in the lower left corner. So that's the only only thing that uh, you know differentiate this printing from the M15 printing of of the card, for example here. So that's that's pretty cool. We got some old old cards as, as well, but uh, not here really to talk about the cards all that much, I just, just thought I'd get all of these in, in order. So first we got our commons and uncommons, I'm gonna put those by color and, uh, and rarity. Let's 
just put artifacts and uh, lands under the same pile for now. Focus here. Sorry, I check. Just about. Oh, I, I think I missed this. Cabal therapy. That's great. I pretty much just uh, breezed through the uh, commons and uncommons in the video. But yeah, uh, tons and tons of. Uh, oh, cool. Counter spell. Tons and tons of uh, great reprints. Uh, Relic Ray Tower So uh, so you you really don't know what you're what you're getting. It's a perfect draft format. Well, perfect, fun. <laughs> don't know about, don't know about perfect. Circle of logic, it's a good card. And yeah, opening up these boosters were also really fun. When we we get to the. Uh, Rares, uh, there's some really cool old stuff as well. But you do get some some cool and not entirely um, worthless cards here in the uh, commons and uncommons as well. Fanatic. We're halfway through the uh, commons and other commons here. Soldering, always handy. script Temple of the 
false god. It's a good card. Of course, Commander as a format really uh, lets uh, all kinds of cards their spot in the spotlight. <laughs> Even play something slightly uh, under uh, powered if you if you feel like it. But yeah, like I said in the uh, <coughs> opening video, I uh, I wasn't just saying things about. Uh, my gracious uh, sponsor, uh, sponsor uh, Poromagia. Uh, I really do uh, buy stuff from them quite a bit. Uh, they then go to a, a place to buy Magic the Gathering and uh, basically retro games as, as well in, in their Retro Magia store. And the uh, miniatures and uh, board games as, as well. And uh, they do ship. Um, oh, I think this is pretty pretty rare to have two of the same same card. Um, they do ship outside uh, of Finland as well to anywhere in, in Europe basically so uh, do yourself a favor and uh, check out their wares that, that was an uncommon Lightning Greaves, excellent card Factory, classic. Wall of Omens, great card. Den. Those artifact cards, uh, artifact lands were crazy, and uh, this is also crazy. Like I said in, said in the video as well, uh, this used to be a rare uh, back in the Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised era. Now it's a common. Boo! <laughs> Just tells you of the power creep. But yeah, one mana, two one creature. It's crazy back in the day. Great value. And a beautiful card. Brainstorm, always handy. Yeah, so there we have it. Let's get all of these uh, in one pile. When I I've, you know, I've, I've played Magic for for a long time, uh, ever since like 1994. But uh, I've quit playing Magic for a couple of times, and by quit I, I really mean quit. Uh, as in, hmm, I, I sold like all of my cards and uh, just got rid of them. Didn't feel like I would be playing anymore and I just needed the money at some point. But uh, uh, now that I previously went on, I didn't quit. I just uh, went went on a little hiatus uh, after my my regular playing group, 
uh, disbanded. Uh, I, I of course uh, saved all of my my decks and and everything, but I did get rid of my you know commons and uncommons, and uh, they just took way too much uh, space. But uh, <laughs> here we are again. I'm again amassing <laughs> some commons and uncommons. Uh, we'll see uh, what I should do with these. The commons, uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be going through all of these and uh, anything that has you know remotely any kind of value, I'm gonna be putting into my binder and uh, up for uh, uh, trade or I'm gonna credit them into Boromagi so that I can uh, get some new cards without paying paying for them. So check out their crediting system as well from the link below. But uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with the, all of the comments here. We'll see. <laughs> so that's that, and then we have some of the foils and and rares to go through. are really cool. We got Bear Cub from uh, Portal, uh, the second Portal set, Lotus Petal from Tempest, Tinker from Ursus uh, Legacy, Imperial Armor from Weatherlight, and uh, Sadistic Hypnotist from uh, Odyssey, Crenellated Wall from Mercadian Masks. Carvax Torch from Mirage and Mist from a Streaker from Legions. So really, really cool. And uh, I, I think those are all uncommon or common. But uh, we also had here, yeah, one rare energy field. That's a good card from our saga. And uh, well, maybe, maybe we could uh, put these into uh, colored piles as well. So a total of uh, ten mythics. Pretty good.
I think the best pulls in this box were, let's see, I believe it's, uh, here's the uh, top four. Perforos, God of the Forge, the Fairy's Protection, a Foil Amulet of Vigor, and uh, Expropriate. I think the Fairy's Protection here is the uh, most valuable one, even though it's just a rare, but it's it, it's from Commander 2017. So uh, yeah, so from from uh, I think from a precon deck. So. Uh, they didn't print those in boosters and uh, therefore it's pretty rare. I think this is the first uh, reprint there is, unless you kind of like judge foils. Yeah, so uh, these will be going to my trade binder and uh, let's see how much uh, I can credit back to uh, Poromagi. I wonder if anybody's gonna want to you know trade for for some of these these cards maybe I'll put them all to my binder there's not that many of them and uh, gotta check if there's uh, what's what's good in those those uh, piles. But uh, yeah, again, uh, huge thanks to Poromagia for letting me have the box here, and uh, I think uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this this as well. And uh, yeah, let me know if you would like to see more of these, and uh, do check out the uh, link in the video description. Really appreciate it. And now we're gonna end this video with uh, some uh, uh, booster wrapper uh, crinkling. Uh, I hope the uh, um, uh, voice, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the volume levels are okay for you, but uh, uh, the rest of the video is gonna be uh, the same, so you can adjust your volume accordingly. So hopefully this won't be too loud for you, but just right. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, uh, I'll see you. I'll see you next time.